In last few days, we witnessed many protests. One of them was protests carried out by people in support of Imran Khan in Pakistan. The other was Manipur protests. In this video, we'll tell you about a special rule which, if followed, can bring down almost any government in the world. Welcome to Resonant News. Today's video is in continuation of our video posted two years ago on how to destabilize a democracy in just four steps. So what is that we bring to you in this video? Today we'll tell you about the 3.5% rule. According to this rule, just 3.5% of the population of a country is enough to bring about cures or political change in that country. This was concluded in a research by a famous political scientist, Erika Shenoweth. 3.5% rule posits that no government can stand up to that share of the population mobilizing against it. The research shows that serious political change were attained by almost 53% of the peaceful protests when compared to 26% of the violent protests. This means 53% is the success rate of peaceful protests. In every case, whenever at least 3.5% of the population attended any peak event, for example a mass gathering, they manage to achieve their aims. Now if you observe carefully, what we saw as violent protests in Pakistan was just limited to a few places in northern Pakistan. But in the videos presented to us by media outlets, it felt as if the whole country was on fire. Something similar happened during anti-CA protests and the farmers' protests in India. You must remember, that both India and Pakistan are very densely populated countries. So despite seeing people protesting on the roads, rest of the population remained unaffected in other parts of these countries. Yet, the fact that 3.5% of the population can cause chaos is something that we should take seriously as India is a democratic country where protests are allowed. It is also evident that other than democratic countries, the 3.5% rule is largely ineffective. Beat protests in China, Tiananmen Square or the recent protests in Hong Kong, in which at least one third of the population of Hong Kong participated, but were curbed brutally by Chinese police. Since China is not a democratic country, this rule is largely ineffective there. So also in Pakistan, which is a pseudo-democracy, which is largely run by its military. But the 3.5% rule did succeed in Philippines during Brazilian uprising, Velvet Revolution in Czechoslovakia and of course during the Arab Spring. So should we take the 3.5% rule seriously? Tell us in the comments.